Hello and good evening, this is Responsuelo from Curva.com and it is time again for DAX Friday. It's another Friday, it's time for another DAX function and this time we are going to talk about lookup value with multiple columns. So if you don't know how to do it, stay tuned. Okay, so I published on Wednesday a video on how to change currencies using a slicer in Power BI and uh, Mathis, he actually asked me if it's possible, if it was possible to use lookup value to look up the currency instead of doing it the way I did it. And he also gave me a link to a Dutch data dude and uh, looked it up. It is a Microsoft employee, or at least it was when he wrote this. And uh, this is a great, great, great tutorial actually on how to use lookup value. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go through his tutorial, but I am going to separate it in two scenarios so it makes it very, very clear how lookup values work. But it's basically, it is his data and it's his idea. So make sure you come back to him and give him a thumbs up or a comment or something because it is really, really very well explained. Um, so we're going to use this. There is actually another example of how how to use lookup values for row level security that is absolutely amazing. I'm planning to do a video on that. I haven't had the time to do it yet. So a new video for that will come up in the future. For now, this is like a basic lookup value introduction. This is a great, great example. So first of all, let's go through those two scenarios I'm talking about. So you see what we will learn in this video. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We have two tables. We have a market share table. This is a table that contains a company name, dates, and then the market shares for those companies. And then we have a stock table that contains the stock labels, or the name of the stock, the date, and the value. In this case, for scenario one, the company name and the stock name is the same. Okay, but what we want to do is we want to add the stock value to our market share table. We want to put it in here. And for that, we need to match the company name with the stock name and the date on the market share with the date on the stock value. So this is the first one. We'll do a lookup value that will give us the stock value into the market share table, looking at company name and date. Now, for the scenario two, and this is the one he explains on his blog post, he makes it a little bit more complex. He goes one step further. What is the case? Well, this is a more realistic case where you have the actual company name and then you have the date and the market share. The stock value has this stock name, which is not the same as the company name. It's, it never is. And then he has a, like a, relationship table in between that actually links the company name with the stock label. So we are going to do also here a lookup that will give us the stock value to the market share table. But in this case, we will have to look up the relationship between company name and stock in this company label table. So it's a great, great, great example. Make sure you stay tuned because this is very, very useful. So let's go to Power BI and start the exercise. Okay, so here we are in Power BI now. And as we explained, we have two tables for scenario one. We have the stock value table and then we have the market share table. And what we want to do is to add the value stock value into this table. So we want to have a calculated column here that will give us that value. Then for that, we're going to use lookup value. So let's go and see what lookup value is. So if we do as we always do, we go to the documentation and see, okay, how does lookup value work? And lookup value is like the equivalent of via lookup in Excel. So if you're Excel fan, I'm sure you know how to use it because it's perhaps if not one of the most, if not the most, one of the most used uh, functions in Excel. So this is, works basically 
the, the concept is the same. You have the function lookup value. Here you say the column that you want the result, you know, the resulting column of it. In our case, it will be the stock value. And then you say where to search and what is the search value from the other one. I will show you. It's complicated to show it here, but it's very easy when you see it live, when you see an example. And uh, you can have as many search columns and search values as you like, which is great. Now you cannot have an expression on the result column name or the search column name. Okay, so be careful about that. If you are an Excel user, there are a few distinctions as to how this works in Power BI. So it is similar to VLOOKUP, but it's not the same. And here they explain what the differences are. So if there is not a match that satisfies the search value, so if you cannot find the match that you ask for, it will return a blank, right? While in Excel, it returns an error. If there are multiple rows that match that condition, then it will return an error. Well, in Excel, it actually it gives you the first it hits. So if it has three that it found a match, it will give you the first one that it finds and then ignore the rest. Here, you will get an error instead. So you have to make sure that you have identical values, okay? So now that we know that, let's go back to Power BI and start doing the function. Okay, so now we can actually start working. Let's do a new column, calculated column. We're going to call it, I don't know, stock value. That's what it is. And we're going to say look up. Now, the first one is the result column. So this is the column that we want to have there. And we said that we want to have this stock value in there. So there we have the first value. Now the search column. So that is go to stock table, look up stock name. Then now it says just stock, but this is the, the name of the stock and match it with company. Okay, so get go to the stock table, check what stock names you have and match them with the market shares company. So the company name. And we can continue. We said, okay, now go to the stock table, pick up the date and match it with uh, market date. And once you've done that, return us the give us a stock value. And as you can see, there you have it. So it's gone to the stock table, find the values that it needs, came back here, check them out with these and say, okay, now I have the value. Do you remember what I said that if it doesn't if it finds multiple values, it will return an error. Let's say that we remove the date condition from our lookup value. It's given us an error. It says a table of multiple values were supplied where a single value was suspected. What is going, what is happening here? It says, okay, go to stock here and pick up the names and they say, okay, I have ABC and then say, come back here. And then I said, I have ABC. So instead of giving us a line, it actually returning a table of three. And then you said, mm -mm. sorry, I don't know what to do with that. Excel, it just picks the first one. This one, it says, no, it doesn't work for me. Okay. So uh, you need to be aware of that. Now, Let's move to scenario two, where we have a company name and a stock name that is not the same. So to do that demonstration, I will go back to Power Query. I am going to disable these so you don't have to see me prepare anything. And then I'm going to enable these two. So 
when I load. Now we have a stock table, the one that we had before. I have, let's load it. I have a market share table that has the company name this time that does not match the stock name. And now I have a company and a stock relationship. Now, I actually forgot to show you something, but on the previous scenario, there is no relationship between stock and market. So I should actually go back and show you that. If I do like that, Okay, so now we're back on scenario one. This is important. I should have mentioned it. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our calculated column. And we have this stock value. Now go when we go here to the relationships, you can see that there is no relationship between the tables. And this is exactly the same as in Excel. You don't actually need to create a relationship. Um, so it is important. Look up is like a, it creates like a virtual relationship between tables where there is none. Now, when we go back to scenario two, we cannot do the same thing And I'm going to show you why. But again, we have the stock table, we have the market share table with the company names, and then we have our small link table between them. So what we need to do is actually same thing, calculate a column, stock value, look up, and this is exactly the same thing. Which value do we want? Yes, we want to have the stock value in there. Perfect. And then we say go to the stock table, pick up the stock label, the stock name. And now we have to say, okay, go and pick up the lookup table, you know, the, the small relationship, go and check that one out so you can relate it to the market share. And for that, we're going to use related. And to be able to use related, we actually have to have a relationship between company label and market share. You still don't need a relationship for the lookup function, but you need a relationship for the related function. Okay. So here we said related company level stock. And now it's exactly the same stock date and market share date. And voila, we got again the relationship and the lookup. Um, working. So um, look at value. I actually thought I would use it more. I, I, I don't I only use it for the row level security. I, I haven't used it for anything else. I don't know if you guys have done it. In <laughs> case you can give me some examples. I would love to, to show it to everybody. But I, I thought this was a great example, actually. And as soon as I have my row level security video fixed, I will show that too. But for now, I think this is a great introduction for how look at value function works. So, okay, so this is actually all for today. I really hope you enjoy the look and function and you understand it better now. I have actually fixed and created a new DAX Friday survey link. So please check it out and see if it works. 
it, it should. I, I mean, I tested and I, for me it works, but uh, just please test it and let me know if it still doesn't work and let's see if I can do something about it. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is all for today. Um, if you liked the video, let me know by liking it or by sharing it with others that you think would like to, to see and to learn too. Um, comments, questions, suggestions, uh, either on the comment box below or any of the social channels listed on the description box. Subscribe, I publish Power BI, Power BI videos Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And if you want to get notifications, hit the bell because uh, YouTube stopped doing that. Okay. So, um, yeah, have a fantastic weekend, a great Friday and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.